Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're taking a look at the Adafruit MacroPad RP2040. This is for folks looking to make a custom macro pad with mechanical key switches. It's designed to be super customizable and easy to use with both Arduino and CircuitPython. Based on the Raspberry Pi RP2040, this has an OLED rotary encoder, 12 key switches with NeoPixels, and 8 megabytes of flash. The starter kit comes with kale box switches, clear keycaps, and key plates for making an enclosure. We designed a stand that features a print-in-place hinge for making an articulating kickstand. This elevates the keys so they're easier to press and a bit more ergonomic. It's pretty minimal and can be 3D printed without any support material. To assemble your macro pad, start by just adding a few switches to the key plate. Then line up the pins with the sockets and then carefully press them into place. Now you can proceed to install more switches, being very careful not to bend any of the pins. The switches are oriented with the LED slot lined up with the onboard NeoPixels. Be sure to check all of the switches are fully seated so they're installed correctly. The bottom plate is reversible and features silkscreen artwork by Phil B. Painter Dragon. To secure the bottom plate, line up the mounting holes and fasten the M3 screws. The keycaps are easily installed by press fitting them onto the stem of the key switches. If you'd like to customize your macro pad, you can use a keycap puller to swap out the switches and keycaps. To power up the macro pad, just connect it to your computer with a USB-C cable. CircuitPython makes it easy to create keyboard projects with the new macro pad library. To install CircuitPython, head over to circuitpython.org and look for the macro pad RP2040. Choose your preferred language from the dropdown and click on the download UF2 button. To get into bootloader mode, you'll need to use the boot and reset buttons together. Start by pressing down on the rotary encoder. While holding it down, press and release the reset button on the side of the board. Keep holding down on the rotary encoder until the USB drive shows up. When it does, you can release it. Now you can drag and drop the file to flash the firmware. It'll automatically restart the board and load as a CircuitPython USB drive. Check out the Hotkeys Learn Guide to get your macro pad set up with your favorite keyboard shortcuts. Click on Download Project Bundle to get the code and all the libraries and dependencies. To upload, simply drag and drop the code file and libraries onto the board's USB drive. The demo code handles all the heavy lifting so you can easily create your own macros. Just modify the existing file or create your own using this as a template. You can switch between different macro configurations using the rotary encoder. And there you have it, a quick look at the MacroPad RP2040. We hope you're inspired to check out CircuitPython for your next keyboard project.